Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to online class conducted by Dr. Khaste Government Girls High School Chattogram. First of all, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am Shuri Dr. Senior Teacher in English, Dr. Khaste Government Girls High School Chattogram. Okay. Dear students, how are all of you? I'm fine. Everything is going fine with me by the grace of Almighty. Lots of thanks to him. Okay, now let's start the class. Today we'll go through lesson two, unit one from English for today, class nine and 10. Now please open it page number five, lesson two, unit one, the topic is the tale of homecoming. Okay, now go through part A. Here are some questions. Three questions are here. Question number one. What do you see in the picture? We can see here, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman has climbed on a board of an open truck with some important figures around him and millions of people around the truck. All of them are in a joyous mood very cheerful they are. This is the answer of the question number one. Next, question number two, would you identify in the picture? Uh, actually, we already, we already we have known about this answer from the answer of question number one. Uh, the answer is question number two, we can see Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of the nation in the picture. Okay, we have already got two answers. Question number three, do you find any connection between the picture and the title of the lesson? How? Um, the answer is, yes, there is a connection between the picture and the title of the lesson. The title is The Tale of Homecoming. And the picture clearly says that this picture is of Bangabandhu's homecoming day, a great historical day. Okay. Now go to part B. Uh, read the story of Bangabandhu's homecoming to answer the questions that follow. Read it silently, carefully, and attentively. Start reading the text. I think you have already finished reading the text. Now go to part C. Here are some phrases. You have to make sentences with these phrases. Okay. First one is Declaration of Independence. Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of the nation, was arrested by the Pakistani army immediately after his declaration of independence at the first hour of the 26 March 1971. Next one, Capital Punishment. Do you know what is the meaning of capital punishment? It means death sentence. Okay, uh, we have made a sentence here. Bangabundi was taken to Pakistan as a captive and imprisoned there in a small cell for capital punishment until 7th January 1972. Okay, next, await mm, breathlessly means waiting a, a girl. Waiting so early. The entire world was waiting breathlessly to witness the homecoming of Bangabundi. Okay. Next, emotional affairs. Bangabandhu had conversations with his family and with Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmad, which were related to emotional affairs. Okay, next, Dutch poetic. Uh, my mom wrote to me a letter and the words were really Dutch poetic. Okay, next, unbounded joy. He was awarded for a great achievement and he felt unbounded joy. Okay, next, genocide. Uh, we have made a sentence here with this word, with this, uh, word. We can't forget the genocide occurred in 1971 during the liberation war done by the Pakistani army. Okay. Okay, now uh, go to part D. Here are some questions. Question, uh, first question is, what made Bangabandhu so bold while in the prison? 
The answer is Bangabandhu knew nothing would stop the Bangalis to gain independence. And this made Bangabandhu so bold while in the prison. Next question. How did London welcome Bangabandhu? The answer is London welcomed Bangabandhu warmly. Early in the morning on 8 January 1972, Bangabandhu arrived at Hitra Airport. News of Bangabandhu's arrival in London spread quickly. Journalists, the general public, British officials, and politicians and Bengali residents in the city made their way to hotel carriages. News bulletin on the BBC and the other media organizations made note of Bangabandhu's arrival in their headlines. By early afternoon, the further explanation had made the British Prime Minister Edward Heath and leader of the opposition Harold Wilson. Okay, next question. Do you agree with the statement that Bangabandhu was excited as well as relieved from long anxiety in London? Why or why not? Okay, this is the answer. Uh, yes, I agree with the statement that Bangabandhu was excited as well as relieved from long anxiety in London because he led the whole nation to gain independence and inspired the nation to liberate themselves from the oppression of the Pakistani rulers. After nine months of a bloody war, the nation got victory. And this was a great achievement for the Bengalis. During the liberation war, Bangabandhu was imprisoned in Pakistan. And at last, after the, after the victory, Bangabandhu was released from Pakistani prison. On his way back to him, he had a trip in London. This time, he was excited as well as relieved from long anxiety. Uh, nine months earlier, he was brought to Pakistan as a prisoner with little hope to return. But now he was free to go home. Okay. Uh, all these answers we have got already. Mm, okay, dear students, now go through part E. You have to read the text here silently, again, attentively and carefully. After reading the text, you have to go through part F. Okay, now start silent reading. Okay, I think you have already finished reading the text. Okay, do the works of part F. Here is a matching. Uh, matching answer with me. First one is on the way, uh, in course of a journey. Stop over, rest for some time, mesmerized, hypnotized. Wholeheartedly from the heart. Termic, area from which planes take off at an airport. For the newsman, a group of journalists of, or newspaper reporters. To monsters, to fill eyes with tears. Military zunda, a group of army personnel who rules the country. Intoned, uttered, winter rays, a mist of fog that covers winter morning. Okay. Dear students, I'm now going uh, to give you homework. Uh, today we have got three marks. First one is um, make a timeline of the incidents mentioned in the text on Bangabandhu Sumkami. Next one, do you agree with Bangabandhu that the Bengalis have become worthy now? Justify your agreement in 200 words. Okay. Uh, next, Bangabandhu had three sons, two daughters, his wife, Brother, housemate, caretaker, and soldiers waiting for him. Imagine what happened after Bangabandhu had entered his home. Then complete the following story. Okay, have a look here. Uh, the beginning of the story, Dhaka was full of crowd. Inside the house, there were family members, relatives, and many others. The World Cup was ticking at every second. Two daughters were getting impatient to see their father. The, pe the peep through the windows a thousand times. Baby Russell was asking his mother, Amma, when will I arrive? Then slowly start the convo before the main entrance of the historic house at Tanwandi, 32. Dot, 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 dot. We have to complete the story now. 
you have to use here your imagination okay dear students uh, today we have learned about bangladesh son coming uh, how he came back and during his coming back home he how was his feelings his emotions etc we have learned uh, i hope you have enjoyed the class all of you do the homework uh, you have to submit it timely and study hard at home uh, don't waste your time utilize each second each minute properly and now pandemic situation is going on maintain properly rules of health don't go outside without any important reason uh, when you go outside you must wear mask and you have to use sanitizer okay dear students i am now going to leave the class thank you all